It is the Martha Zoller Show. It is so great to hear you and to be with you. And joining us right now at the top of the hour is Senator John Ossoff. Uh, and it's so good to welcome you back to the program, John. Martha, good morning. Thank you for having me. I hope you're well. And uh, please allow me to extend my condolences on Myra's passing. And I hope you'll pass that along and my best wishes to Lynn as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, it has been a difficult few weeks, but, you know, if we believe what we believe, then she's healed and she has her memory back. And so that's very comforting. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the border. I know we have limited time uh, with you. You made a very impassioned speech, which we've heard you make these comments on this program several times over the last year. Where is the status on the bill, and will there be any ability to amend the bill so that there can be some back and forth? So I'm very worried at this moment, Martha, that the Senate may be about to squander a historic chance to pass a major bipartisan border security measure. As you know, uh, this legislation, the Border Act, was uh, crafted largely by Senator James Langford, a conservative Republican of Oklahoma. Uh, it's a proposal that would tighten asylum standards, that would surge enforcement resources to the southern border, uh, that would expedite the removal of those who abuse the asylum system to enter the country unlawfully. It would hire more border patrol agents and i think the senate was on track to pass this measure or something like it uh, until former president trump put the word out that he didn't want this issue fixed uh, while president biden was in the white house we really can't afford given the level of national security threat uh, given the real threat of terrorism associated with unlawful entry at the southern border to let election year politics get in the way of passing a strong bipartisan border security measure. And that's why I'm urging my Republican colleagues to reconsider their position. Right now, they're threatening to block even a debate and amendment process on this measure. Uh, to your question about amendments, I spoke with Senator Schumer this morning, and he confirmed to me that there will be an opportunity for amendments if Senate Republicans allow us to get on the bill and open up debate. Republicans will have the opportunity to put forward proposals to uh, uh, amend the bill, to strengthen the bill, to improve the bill. I'll take seriously those proposals and consider supporting them. But if we allow this opportunity to pass, I am worried about a grave national security risk that threatens the United States. Well, my biggest concern is the 4,000 a day number. Um, even President Obama's DHS secretary said that that's too big of a number. It's about a thousand is where it ought to be. But I'm encouraged to hear you say that Senator Schumer is willing to do the amendment process. And I've been reaching out to both you, Senator Warnock, and Republican senators that I know to say they need to negotiate because send something over to the House and let them vote on it because the House has sent something over to you to vote on. Look, I think that we're really at risk here of missing the last chance to get this done. And every day we fail to pass a border security measure, uh, the, the threat to the country increases. And you've heard me for years. I've been tough on Democrats who have had their heads buried in the sand about the national security threat associated with the southern border, about the fact that knowing and controlling who enters our country is essential to our sovereignty and to our national security. I've been tough on the administration for their failures at the southern border. Here we have enough votes on the Democratic side in the Senate to pass a strong border security bill. How is it that Senate Republicans are going to block even a debate and amendment process? And it's everybody in the Senate knows what's going on here. Senator Langford went on Fox News and explained why Republicans are blocking this debate. It's because President Trump said he didn't want this problem solved during the presidential election. And I think that that would be a dereliction of duty, a dereliction of our obligations to national security to block a border security bill, to keep the country vulnerable just so that President Trump can wield this as an election issue. So I know we only have two minutes with you because you're off to a meeting, two minutes more. So quickly update us on the post office work that you're doing because that is something that's in the Constitution, right? 
Well, this is a, a disaster for Metro Atlanta and North Georgia. And, you know, we've seen Postmaster DeJoy try to roll out this new regional processing model. They've tried to shift operations to that facility at Palmetto, and it hasn't worked. A couple of months ago, the on-time delivery rate for first-class mail in the region was just 36 percent. And the thing that's so challenging about this, and not a lot of folks know this, is that neither Congress nor the president has the authority to fire the Postmaster General of the United States. Only the Board of Governors of the U.S. Postal Service can do that. In my view, Postmaster DeJoy has demonstrated a high level of incompetence and a lack of concern for the fact that seniors aren't getting their prescriptions in the mail, businesses can't receive supplies and ship products, uh, you know, uh, ballots aren't arriving on time because they're getting lost in the mail. And I've been applying maximum pressure on Postmaster General to fix the problems at Palmetto and get those on-time delivery numbers up. Senator John Ossoff, I know we have limited time with you today, but I look forward to you coming and visiting our new studio on the square in Gainesville, and maybe we could do an extended town hall. It would be fantastic. I'd uh, love to come and visit the studio. Congrats to the station on 75 years. And Martha, for the sake of our national security, you've got a lot of credibility in, in Republican circles. This is a moment that demands bipartisanship. I hope you will keep up the pressure on my Republican colleagues to do the right thing. Let us get on the bill, debate it, consider amendments, send something to the House. The national security consequences of failure here are just too serious. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Ossoff. Appreciate you being with us today. Thank it you, is important. Thank you so much. It is important what he said, and we do have to compromise on this issue. Uh, I think the number, the 4,000 number is too much, but I have been putting pressure on not only Senator Warnock and Senator Ossoff, but the senators that I have access to, to through the connections that I have, because they need to get to the floor of the Senate and debate this. There is a bill that has been sent over from the House that they could take up or add. Hey, if you want to play political games, add the bill or po portions of the bill to the bill that they have. So there are solutions to this problem, and that's what they have to look at.